Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another Mailbag Monday. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd finally get around to unboxing uh, one item and some more eBay finds showed up in the last couple of days. So I thought I'd uh, give you a look at some of the hobby supplies and goodies that I've got. We will start. Let's start with this one. I already ripped these open because these envelopes can be a real pain. So what we've got, I got some proto boards, uh, perf board sort of deals, uh, varying sizes, double sided, really nice little boards. Source these, of course, off of eBay. Uh, check out my video how to get these kind of items pretty cheap. I don't remember the exact dollar value of these offhand, but it was not much. So, looks like I got, I think I got a half dozen of each. So, should be pretty good for prototyping just about uh, anything in the upcoming future. And, um, that should allow, should allow me to get circuits like this. Actually, this one's really basic, but get them off the off the breadboard and onto something permanent. Here's an example of one that uh, needs to be moved off. This is my uh, Learjet EPU display. So I've got uh, hopefully a different size of these LED displays coming and I'll transfer this off onto one of those perfects. This one says resistor from China. Surface mount resistors, all sort of them. So lots and lots and lots. Should be all good for some of my smaller projects. Um, I really should have looked up the prices on these, but to uh, see what I paid. But this was a, about a week and a half delivery from China, so pretty happy and about this that. This envelope, I got a couple of boxes. Oh yeah. I haven't opened the boxes yet, so this is a nice surprise. We have more Arduino boards. Got six of these. This I should be all set for Arduino boards for probably hopefully the remainder of this year. Ah, this I've been waiting for. This is a supply of Zener diodes. Complete assortment of all different values of Zener diodes. Uh, I remember the pricing was uh, again very very reasonable. This one took a little longer to deliver. I think this one was about two weeks. So um, again free shipping buy it now right from eBay. They nicely did label the bags. I'll double check that and see that they labeled them correctly but I've got enough Zener diodes to last me a long time. This one I've kind of been a little excited for. I ordered this on Christmas. I think I ordered it Christmas Eve actually. Uh, again, it was an eBay find because this is not something that you can order new online. It came from within Canada. It came from British Columbia. Uh, not original packaging by any means, but uh, let's see what we've got. Did a good job with packing tape. Of course, I picked the upside downy direction. Let's have a look. Hopefully. This is half as good as it was talked up to be. Oh yeah, there we go. Anybody remember having one of these as a kid? I was pretty excited to see this. This is, I believe it was, uh, it was put out by Radio Shack. I think Tandy might have been affiliated back then. This one was produced in uh, Barrie, Ontario. 150 in one electronic project kit. 
this is in a hundred times better condition than mine probably ever was. Pretty cool. So basically, with this kit, you can make 150 different projects that they kindly spell out for you. Um, let's go retrieve that. As he indicated in the auction, it sure looks like this has hardly ever been touched. The original earphone bud. Pretty cool. Morse keypad, if I remember right. Oh yeah, that's ah, pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, I was lucky enough uh, when I was pretty young, my father got me one of these. I'm sure it was a garage sale find at the time. It, it wasn't new, and I spent countless hours on this thing. Countless hours building on here. So there was pretty much. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, the electrolytics have held up. I guess they more than likely have. Uh, really basic, tiny solar cell and a 9 volt battery holder. Mine, I know. Well, this one isn't broken yet. Mine, uh, this is just cardboard, and mine would lift out. Uh, and you can see on the back side, but. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe in a future video, I will uh, maybe I'll build something on here. Hey, why not? Uh, I I bought this strictly for uh, nostalgic purposes. Uh, this brings up a lot of memories. Pretty uh, pretty excited to have this. And uh, who knows? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe um, maybe I'll hang on to it for a little bit, or maybe I'll pass it on. To, uh, to someone to, to learn how I did. Admittedly, it's really basic for nowadays, but uh, there's no reason a person couldn't learn electronics fundamentals the same way, uh, same way a lot of us did. So, uh, yeah, that's our uh, Mailbag Monday. Glad you could join me today, and uh, let me know if you had one of these. Uh, and uh, if you remember building any of the specific projects or if there's one you'd like to see, you just let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.